hi guys welcome back to my channel it's G from happiness and crafting so yesterday in my mixed media I made this lovely little topper now I've made it to fit onto the top of my envelope because um, I wanted to make like a little very very simple journal um, which I have got some bits and pieces ready I hope so this is the envelope that I'm going to be using and that's just going to sit on there like that um, which I absolutely love and I have um, I've scanned it and I've printed it onto some um, rice paper and it's just come out absolutely gorgeous I think that is beautiful um, so there's not a huge amount of difference in colour either so I'm loving that um, so I'm going to be sticking that on in a minute but I'm going to just sort of like make the basic journal first now it's got to go that way so what I have got, I've got a piece of just tea stain paper. Now this is lime paper and I've cut it. I haven't cut it this way, but the length this way is 29 and a half by 15 and a half centimeters. So 29 and a half there and 15 and a half centimeters this way or 11 and a half inches by six and a quarter inches this way. Um, so my envelope is just over um, six and a quarter inches this way just so this um, this is cut just a little bit smaller and it's four and a half inches which is what I don't know I can't remember which is about 11 centimeters so what I've done I've done it so that will just fit in there I've already sort of folded it so I could get all that um, ready so I've done it so it goes right to the end there because I want a pocket in the front and I also want this to be the pocket at the back. So that will just slip in there nicely and, it, and I've just folded this over. I folded it over so it fitted this way and then I've just folded that over and that back because so it's just got like a little concertina. So then we can have a little, little tuck on this bit instead of cutting that off I thought we could just make it into like a little a little tuck um, so I think that looks really nice and then I've just cut up some paper so just depending on what size envelope that you're going to use because obviously you don't have to use the same size envelope it's just the idea I'm giving you I've just cut some paper that will fit in there I've got like 14 pages um, so it's not a huge one uh, but it's a nice little one and then we've got a pocket on this bit and then I want to put a pocket in there so pop those little inner pages to the side and what I am going to do I'm going to stick this inside first so what I want to do is I'm not going to actually stick it in I need to pop that in there like that I have um colored some this is some cheesecloth which I colored this morning and I've made it into just a pretty pretty pink which is sort of matches in with that it's almost like a little sort of ballerina pink isn't it and what I used I used a little bit of tattered rose and no quite a bit of tattered rose and then a tiny bit of this kitsch flamingo which I love so tiny little spray of that and a little bit more of the tattered rose and mixed it all together and this is what I've come out with now when you um, color fabric or anything with oxide sprays it comes out looking a little bit chalky so if you didn't want it to look chalky don't use oxide sprays um, just use the normal um, distress ink sprays or whatever you've got to use because um, look it comes out a little bit chalky but I quite like that so what I thought I would do now I'm going to get all my pieces of paper together together so this I'm going to use a little bit on this bit here just to reinforce the spine so I'm going to stick a piece of that down so when I sew this in um, it's got something else to hang on to but the first thing I'm going to do hope I'm not confusing you I'm going to stick a little bit of this over here now this is some paper that I just um, printed one of my kits which I have printed 
um, it's off the calendar journal so I'm going to just put this on there and so use whatever papers you've got I'm just going to measure that down and then we will just cut that off I don't think it rips very well so I'm just going to just cut that off There like that. It's a little bit wibbly wobbly, but that's okay. Okay, so I'm going to stick that this way because I want it to be hidden in the envelope as well. So I'm just going to use a bit of just a bit of glue stick on there. Now again, I'm just sort of making this up as I go along. I had a little bit of an idea, but whether it will work, I'm not quite sure. So let's just stick this in don't know whether this has got an up or a down on it but it doesn't really matter does it Let's pop that one there like that so that when we pop this into our little envelope that just sort of like makes it look a little bit prettier doesn't it so that will just sit in there I'm going to just cut a little piece of this off like this. Let's just cut a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's a nice little shabby one. Just a little one, just to pop in my bag, um, just to write some little notes and things down. Although I've got lots of journals and things like that, I never seem to have anything to write on. I don't know whether you guys are the same. Where's my glue? Oh, there it is. And I never seem to have anything handy to write on and I need to buy some pens as well. Right, I'm going to just stick this down. Whether I'm doing this in the right order, I don't know. We shall see. We will work it out as we go along. So let's just stick that down. Like that lovely so that's a nice bit inside so then that will just fold over and I want to use this as a little pocket at the back oops maybe I'll stick that and then we've got this little front one as well so what shall we do shall we stick this piece down I don't need that so let's just glue this little flap down like that so that looks nice doesn't it so that would fold over now I have started to fold this because what I thought I would do because I want this is the back I don't want it to go right across so I'm just going to I think glue that down onto there so that would just come up like that because what I'm going to do as well, I think, shall I cover this? Was I going to cover this? I'm going to glue this down anyway. I will glue this down. So let's just glue that there. So that sticks down. Glue this along. I might sew it. We shall see. I'm going to stick that down like that. Okay, perfect. Now I've got another piece here which I thought I might pop on here as the back page. We don't want it too close, do we? And then this might just about go in there and then maybe I'll pop a little bit of ribbon or something onto there should we just open that out right. let me take that out we don't need that in there at the moment do we but it's got to come to there hasn't it let me just cut this I've got a little oh it doesn't matter about the little white bit 
So I'm going to just glue all of this piece like this. I'll go right to the end of there. Let's just stick this one. this off right there. lovely there we go so that's the back page that's the actual back cover isn't it because I'm not going to cover that up so let's just fold that piece over Shall I pop a little bit of ribbon on there? And I've got some really pretty lace here. I got this when I went to a place called Lule. Um, we went to do some paperwork there. And they had a tiny little haberdashery shop. And it was beautiful, real Portuguese one. And they had this beautiful, look at this gorgeous colours. I think this little piece here would go really well wouldn't it shall I just pop a little bit of glue on there stick that little bit on there stick that down I like just making things up as I go along well I have a little bit of an idea of what I like to do but I do like to just sort of make it up and then I think they come out a lot nicer let's just chop that little, little piece off now shall I sew that on do you think I should really sew that on shouldn't I I did want to sew this up because that's like a little pocket bit there I'm going to just turn that over so let's see that will go in there like that so that sits in there that's lovely isn't it I'm not going to put anything on this side I don't think unless unless I can put oh there's a big fly in here it's because I got the window closed okay should I make a little pouch there suppose I could, couldn't I, put things in because I'm going to sew this on the front so then this would go on there, wouldn't it? So how big a piece do we want? Let's just cut it off here. There we go cut it off and then I'm going to just glue this piece on where's my glue there we go glue this on and then I can just sew it around it as well let's see I think that will fit I cut it just a tiny bit too short but that's it a little bit tight don't we so things don't fall out so I do like that let's pull it a bit tighter there we go lovely oops Put that stick down nicely maybe I will just pop that around should I pop that around because that's going to sit on here isn't it like that I don't need all of it I could pop a little bit on there let's just glue this down 
protects the edge I think as well okay so that's that like that this will sit on the front now I have to sew this on but I'm going to have to just sew it down these three sides so I'll have to do a little bit of faux sewing on there and then stick that on because I can't sew that on because I want a little pocket in there don't I okay let me just pop a little bit of glue on here just there like that I don't think I think that's going to stick down okay if I just sew along these bits right what I'm going to do I'm going to sew down just this side here for now and then I'm going to just sew along this bit here so I will be two minutes okay so there we go and there's my little picture so I've just done down that edge so that will go on there like that and I'll just stick that down yes so I could make another little pocket but I don't think I will because I don't want it too bulky so that's done and I've just sewn around this piece here so what I need to do now what should we do with this piece now I must remember because what I want to do is put this underneath like this so that will go underneath there yes yeah, so we can't really have a pocket that goes underneath around the back like that and then I will just chop this piece off nice long piece so that will stick on there so around there and that's our closure so that just opens up and I'm just going to attach it to here and that will close because that's the opening like that and then when that opens up we, then we've got our little pocket in there as well so shall I put anything on this bit I don't think so unless we have another little bit of I suppose I could pop another pretty piece of lace down there couldn't I which way could we have it that would look pretty wouldn't it but that would have to come over like that I think I could actually sew that piece on or shall we just have let's just take that off shall I have another little piece of this on there as well where's that little piece here we are if I put that down and that will reinforce this little bit here won't it because we need to sew in the signature as well so shall we stick that on afterwards or maybe I'll stick this on which way was I going to have it decisions I think I'll pop this on now I will pop that on now I think because then that's going to cover this up isn't it yes. let's just stick it on like this little bit of glue has got to come over this piece because that's going to be covered up anyway perfect okay so that's done I won't pop any lace on yet so that will fold over that goes like that this goes on top so I need to sew that on don't I really 
because me sewing that on will actually hold this piece in place and this. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to sew around this edge there and that means we've got the little opening there. So I will do that now. I'm going to stick this on. Let's use some Fabri-Tac to make sure. Gosh, I need to stick this on. I knew I would forget something. Right. Let's put this like this. So that comes round. Okay, let's stick this on first before I forget. Pop a little bit of glue on. about right that's about the middle I think roughly okay let's make sure we're going around the right way there we go there we go now we can pop some glue on here a bit too much on the outside because you're going to sew it needs to be mainly on the inside and lots of glue just a little bit down this edge because that's not going to be sewn again so let's stick this down just like that lovely I do like this I think it looks so so pretty Leave it a minute just to dry before we go in there with the sewing machine. So look, we don't need to sew that down. So if we go just around these bits and it looks like it's been sewn on, doesn't it? Doesn't that look pretty? I think that looks so, so pretty. So then what we need to do is, I'm wondering whether I could actually just sew in the signature. Do you think I should sew in the signature so it's not? No, I think I will because I can have it on the inside. No, I'm not. I'm going to just do that. Do what I was going to do. So make sure that's in nice and straight. And then I'm going to sew around here just like that so two seconds okay so there we go let me just snip these little pieces off here I think they are There's not a lot on this bit look at that doesn't that look pretty I'm loving it it would look lovely actually with a little ballerina on the front wouldn't it so that is so pretty loving it okay so that's our little pocket there probably needs probably could do with a little maybe i will just pop a little bit of glue in there let's just hold that up i might actually just sew a little bit across there as well just to hold that in but not that you're going to really put a huge amount in there, are you? Because we've got this little pocket. Looks pretty though, doesn't it? So now what we're going to do, we need to try and get this journal inside. The little signature. So again, these are, I think I've got seven, two, four, six, seven pages. So that's 14. So I'm just going to put that in there. So we've got this lovely little one this would make a beautiful little um <clears throat> happy mayor wouldn't it so that's got to stitch in through here now as you all know my stitching in of signatures is absolutely dreadful so let's just see if i can sort of like make this look a little bit easier than i normally do Let's just pop that there. 
Now I don't need to make go through that one, do I? So this is going to be. This is going to be fun. Where's another little clip? Let's just pop that there. My little book, my little worn out book. Look at all these lovely pages I can use. Now I'm going to try and do this without jabbing through the other bit. So let's see if we can do that. Let's go through. Is that roughly in the middle? There we go. Look, that's gone through there. That's good. Let's just hope we haven't gone through that bit. No, perfect. That's lovely. Okay. So we have our three little holes let's get a little bit of this now this is some wax thread so what you need to do is just take three lengths of the size of your journal whatever size your journal is for measuring the thread and then you have a little bit left over um, I'm going to take a nice big fat needle I should I think I might I've got this little box which I keep all my little bits and pieces in I think I would probably use this one. This is a thinner one. That's quite thick. I think that's a little bit too thick. This is what they came in. Um, I'm not quite sure where I got that from now. I think it was just a local little sort of like cheap shop I got, the, got them from. But you can get them on Amazon as well. So let's just thread our needle. shouldn't be too bad because it's not very thick is it so we go down through the middle and then we come up through this the top or the bottom whichever um, is easiest for you pop that down through the top or the bottom and then what we need to do is turn this round go back through the middle hole look at that easy peasy today looks pretty neat doesn't it for me lovely and then you can hardly see it there so that's perfect we can just got our lovely little pocket lovely so what I might do no, I think I'm just going to tie it a little knot like that and then just trim these off now again with the little bits here you can make them keep them longer and have little dingly danglies hanging off them if you want to but I'm just going to pop them like that for a minute I don't have a lot of pages in here anyway so you don't really need to have too much but how pretty is that now shall we shall we pop a little lace on there I quite like that like left now I did make a flower somewhere I had here we go look at that I made a little flower now I use a little bit of the cheesecloth um, and then I made one of my little seam binding flowers bit of cheesecloth white cheesecloth in between and a little um, gem in there which I think would probably look really pretty on here wouldn't it just stuck on there where should we have it I think I don't really want to cover up a little bit there so I might just pop it on the outside let's pop a little bit of glue on there let's just stick it on oh my gosh stuck everywhere okay pop this on like that little bit of glue you might stick it on as well with a um, glue gun might stay on a little bit better too so let's just hold that on for a minute bits of glue everywhere okay 
look at that guys fill your heart with beautiful things so I'm going to just stick that down so look at that we've got a little pocket in there so you can pop all sorts of bits and pieces so that's like a like a little hidden pocket isn't it we've got a pocket here we've got a little sort of fabric pocket there to tuck things in and we've got a little tuck spot in there so I'm um, loving this I think it looks just so pretty and I'm going to just stick that on there I think let's get rid of this gloopy glue on the outside pop a little bit on here lovely how pretty so then what we need to do is just tie a lovely little bow on here and pop that on and there we go a nice little simple one how pretty is that i love it and i do love this paper as well so there we go guys that was a nice simple one it wasn't too bad I hope you could follow along with me and I didn't confuse you too much. But there we go, guys. A nice little um, journal. This is the topper that I did in the mixed media yesterday. So I'll pop a link to that. Um, so not sure whether what I'm going to do with this one, whether I will pop it into the shop or Kofi. Friday freebie I am not sure yet but I just absolutely love it so I will do something with it anyway for you guys so thank you so so much for joining me um, have a fantastic rest of the day stay safe take care and I will see you soon all right guys bye bye mm -hmm.